This is an easy and straightforward guide to connecting the Canon M6 Mark II camera to your PC wirelessly. So the first things first, you need to obviously download the Canon software from the Canon's website. I'm going to be downloading it from the UK version as I live in the UK but I'll also quickly just show you guys how to install it from the US website as well. That's because many of my viewers are from the US but don't worry though for all the other countries the concept is the same. Right so from the canon.co.uk website hover over to the app and software then go to the software and now click on EOS utility. Click on download from the left hand side of the screen. Now you need to select the camera which in this case is the Canon M6 Mark II. Now listen up carefully. When selecting the windows from the second drop down menu, although you may have windows 11, you still need to select windows 10. For me it's 64 bit but it could be 32 bit for you. The reason is that the software for Windows 11 is not out yet. So we're still going to select the most recent one. Right, so this also applies to the Mac PCs as well. And if you're not sure of which bit is your computer, then let me show you. For Windows to check what is the bit on your computer, click on the Windows icon, which is at the bottom of the screen right in the middle. Search for Settings. This will pop up a window as such. Scroll down to about and there you should see the bit information. And as you can see for me it's 64 bit and obviously you have to select whichever is for you. Now just click on download. Right okay so as you can see I must have you know clicked on the download a few times so I'm just going to click on one of them as they have finished processing. Then on here on the downloads folder you can see that there's a few of the downloaded files for the Canon software. I'm just going to select one and delete the rest. And thereafter what I usually do is create a new folder and then just extract all the files into the new folder and then carry on from there. Hey guys, so if you gain any value from this video, then don't forget to smash that like button for me. And before we move on to the next bit on this tutorial, I've got another video that shows you how to install the latest version of the new software release for the M6 Mark II. So go ahead and get it from the cards above or the link will be on the description box below. And before I forget, this is how to install the software from the US website. Again, link will be on the description box below. So from the website, go on to software and drivers. And then in here, search for the Canon M6 Mark II. Now scroll down and find software. So when you click on the software tab, you can see that it will detect the windows that you have. Obviously, it will say Windows 10 because that's what they have. That's the latest one. And then on the software list, you can see EOS Utility 3.15.0. Across to that you can see select, click on it and then just click on download and that's it. Now finally just double click on this downloaded file. Then of course select your country that you live in. Selecting your language would be next. Now in here it says we need to close all the windows before we proceed. Click on OK and then close everything apart from this window. Thereafter just click on the green buttons as you go. So install then yes and finally finish. Right so on your desktop you should see something called EOS utility. Double click on it and then click on yes on this pop up window. So now here is the software. Let's connect it to our camera. Proceed by clicking on pairing over Wi-Fi backslash LAN. Accept the terms and conditions. Click on pairing again. Now on this window it's trying to detect your camera but before that we need to connect your camera to Wi-Fi as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Of course you need the camera to be on. Then from the menu button go across to the Wi-Fi sign as shown. Select Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth connection. 
Now click on the right button on the camera to go to next page. And here select the laptop icon which is also called remote control EOS utility. Press on OK. Now here select the option for add a device to connect to. So make sure you connect it to Wi-Fi on your desktop and this is the name for my internet access point yours may be different depending on which Korea you're with now wait a few seconds and you shall see the window that says start pairing devices click on ok at first your camera may not show up on your computer so sometimes you just need to disconnect your Wi-Fi and reconnect and it will pop up just like this now on the computer select the camera that's shown on that little window then click on connect check on your camera and it should say the name of your desktop press on ok again on the camera on this next page just click on confirm set now finally just click on the menu button to exit and let me show you a couple of things you can do to control your camera on your PC. So first things first, I really like the fact that I can do live view while recording. But most of all, the good thing is that you can actually download all your files from the camera as well. And that is without any physical connection or needing to insert the, the memory card from the camera into the computer to be able to do so. Ain't that great? I think so. Right, okay, so that's it for this tutorial. If you would like me to do a full review of this utility software, then let me know on the comments below and I will make sure to make a tutorial for you guys. And with that said, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share it. Follow me on other social media platforms and I shall see you on another video. Take care, bye.